I wish I hadn't teased her about there not being an afterlife now. I think she wanted to believe in like heaven and angels and stuff. I hope she wasn't, I hope she wasn't scared. There are angels. They don't have wings and live in clouds. They wear nurses' uniforms and work hard to pay the rent on their houses. If you want to be an angel, you've got to do it when you're alive. Be good, do good things. How do you all feel about the show coming to an end? It's emotionally draining, isn't it? It is. I'm gutted. <laughs> I want, um, yeah, I want to do more. Yeah, please. same. Same. <laughs> but... I think we were just saying it's just hit us, but not like, yeah, just. It's hard, actually. We just um, had a little thing. We've just realised as we're talking to you guys, it's actually ending. <laughs> we're just like, no! <laughs> it's the best job ever. So, yeah, it's sad to see it go, but it's probably for the best. I think Ricky knows normally when to end things. He won't drag it out if he doesn't think there's life in it. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, but we'd all like to do some more, please, anyway. So if you could go back to Ricky and tell him that. <laughs> yes. Uh, we're trying oh, to squeeze the Christmas to special him. out. Yeah. What am I going to do? special. <laughs> and, and we're going to write off of like some some spin-offs, right? He's, he's think... also he's given us all a good send-off, our characters. So that's all you can ask for, really. Nothing other we than, can other do. Other than a Christmas special. <laughs> <laughs> Diane, Kath really takes a more central role this season. Um, with her story on like loneliness, I feel would be particularly resonant with a lot of people at the moment due to coronavirus and yeah. all of that stuff. Um, how? What were your initial thoughts on? Um, being given that development and how do you hope it resonates with fans? Well, I was really pleased because I wasn't expecting that and uh, it was really nice to to make her a little bit more, you know, four-dimensional, three-dimensional, mm. two-dimensional. What would the fourth dimension be? Uh, you reach out to the television. Of, uh, yeah, <laughs> she's got that, and she? Because she, she has, yes. Yeah. So five-dimensional. Five-dimensional. <laughs> make a five-dimensional. Um, uh, <laughs> What was I saying? Oh, well, yes. Yeah. No, it was nice to do that uh, because she's such a silly character normally. And then I got these scenes where, oh, great, yeah, I get to do a little bit more. And, and, and yeah, I hope that I hope people like them mm. because, yeah, people are going through similar things, aren't they? And the defences are down, aren't they? The with her a little defense, bit. The defences are finally down because she's, she's always trying to, you know put up a front uh, throughout the first few series and then they finally dropped and she she goes out on dates that might not necessarily go that well. Don't know how much I meant to say. <laughs> but, um, can I? Yes. Um, All I can say is as someone who has been on those dates, yeah. hit the nail on the head. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, well, I'm sure a lot of people have been on those kind of dates, so it'd be nice to, what, to see Tim Key? Yeah, been on a date yeah. with Tim Key. We've all been on dates with Tim Key. <laughs> And, um, oh God, yeah, he was great in that, actually. Uh, perfect, it was just so dark. Yeah, yeah, it was And you reacted just absolutely perfectly. Well, I think it's great nice scene. to see a character that's often silly suddenly, uh, you know, do something really emotional. Yeah, there's a moment when you're at the teller. I thought you the tea leaves, I'm laughing my head off, and then when. Yeah. You know, and there's a moment your face just changes and I actually was really emotional. Yeah. I got very, I was like, wow, so subtle but beautiful. Yeah. Probably sixth dimension, I'd say that Sixth is. dimension. I always <laughs> like seeing, this will be the seventh <laughs> dimension. I always like it when you, uh, when you see characters that have been, she's normally the office based. Yeah. I like it when you see characters going out and about. Yeah, I'm not she can walk. Yeah, yeah, she can yeah. walk. Oh, she can walk. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, and um, you, you, the way you look, your hair, everything, that creation. Wow. That was meant to be like uh, someone off The Apprentice, so it was yeah. meant to look like, which I think I pulled off. Yeah. That's a very apprentice look, isn't yeah. it? The pink shirt's my favourite when you get out the, the silky shirt, the tight car. clothes. Apprentice on the, the edge glasses. of that breakdown they all have. Yeah. You do that yeah. and you get out of the car and you just walk off. Yeah, they've all got that bravado, I don't know, but it's just a thin veneer and it's a thin... For me, it was the scene, the laughter yoga scene. Oh, laughter yoga, yeah. That's very sad, isn't it? All comes oh, out. That's heartbreaking, that scene. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Um, on a slightly lighter note, your um, Lenny and June have perhaps the happiest little yeah. through line throughout the series. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> um, they seem pretty content in their own little world. Um, how do you feel that anchors the show in some way when everything else seems to be going downhill sometimes? I think it's... Um, 
it's I think it's a little ray of light, isn't it? Because it sort of becomes a thing that other characters would like to have. And you I want think. To know about. Yeah, it's sort of like a nice thing that sort of that it makes it makes Ricky's character think, and I'm sure it, but that's the, one of the reasons why Kath would suddenly be looking for a yeah, date. Yeah, because she thinks if these two chumps can find <laughs> yeah. love. Well, this yeah. is the thing with Lenny and June. I think it's just matter of fact, and it evolves really discreetly. And but people are in. Oh, what's happening with them two? And it brings. I bring the cake in. I come in with my little stories, and it just happens with no fuss, no messing, no question. Yeah, yeah. It's they know. They know, and they're just not. Ex they don't want anything else. It's just this normal couple that have found each other and accepted each other, and it's 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 possible. And they're really. It's yeah. It's like it's um, one of those. It's like a sort of. It's a cozy, yeah. sort of nice thing that, that that sort of feels very natural. That they're just sort of. Once they manage to kick Jane, Lenny kicks James out of the house, he's even It's happier. the only one that's just <laughs> fully functioning and they're both so dysfunctional, like, because you've got Tom's characters having problems, your character with that, and, you know, yeah, obviously yeah. it is the only one that's, like, just solid and it's that's it. And you kind of don't realise that when you're in it, but... No, I yeah, think yeah. at first, like, season one, it was like... Oh, how's it going? And well, it starts off like, very yeah. odd. It's actually quite an odd start to relationship. Yeah. That, her son is going to paper for playing recorders with his nose. Yeah. I'm there reporting on it, but I get your number. It's all a bit weird, but from actually a, it gets... It's a bit creepy, but from yeah. an outsider's point of view, you think it's a bit creepy, but then <laughs> as I'm evolving through June, I'm like, oh, they've actually just... Yeah, yeah. They're not messing about. They're just like, yeah, I'll go on a date. Let's but they're do getting it. Yeah, they're not playing they're... games, are they? They're just like straight, like... Yeah, yeah. that's it, move in. They're not looking for perfection, <laughs> are they? They're just accepting everything and just getting on with it. rude, isn't it? Yeah. Um, um, not looking for, for perfection. I know. She's settled. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I think that's a good thing. <laughs> uh, Tony, Ricky does have a habit of putting you in some ludicrous situations throughout these three seasons. This year, I would argue the belly blowing scene in the middle of the cafe yeah. was the one. <laughs> How many takes did that take for you? Loads. To <laughs> Absolutely loads. And I, I say say that it's the only time I've heard Ricky say this out, out loud was in the middle of a take. I had my jumper up and he was blowing onto my belly like I was a toddler and his head popped up and he went, have I gone too far? Is, is this okay? Are people going to... I think it's fine. Oh. <laughs> Let's just carry on doing it. Let's see what happens. You can always cut it out if it doesn't work. Um, yeah, that scene was amazing. That was quite... I think that scene was written quite early on the... The, the the belly blowing not so much early on, but the scene with the it's clearly a bugbear of Ricky's people making too much noise, as I think he's talked about quite a lot before. But that just got weirder and weirder <laughs> that scene, and the more we rehearsed it, and it ended up with him doing that. Yeah, it's great. It's still better than eating ten oh, uh, rice, rice puddings. puddings in a row. Oh. That was quite oh, extraordinary. That. I like rice pudding, but yeah. I don't really like it as much as I used to. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Lenny and Tony's relationship, I would argue Lenny is one of Tony's more most solid friends in the entire series, um, despite their uh, friction, I guess, like, of, like hitting yeah. up. Against. I think this also cements it in the final scene when Lenny says goodbye to Tony, takes a picture of him, and he looks kind of worried. Um, what do you think of the, all three of you think of the ambiguous ending and what do you think happened? I think life goes on, I think is my takeaway from the ending. Is that although a TV show has to end and a story has to end, it doesn't mean that the people that are in the story's lives end and their story doesn't end. I think it's a nice way of doing that. It's everyone gets a sort of, everyone's ending in it is like a beginning. So it's like, you get the the puppy dog and we're going to go and get married and you know everyone's <laughs> off to do something else so it's the ending of that story and moving on so i think that's what he's at that's what he's getting at i think is that life goes on really i know. think some people will find it devastating though. I they'll, mean, they'll look it, at it and they'll go oh god i mean uh you know it, yeah. it's what does that mean yes. you know and they'll read all kinds of things into it yeah. But hopefully yeah. you, you you've got to see that that it, that's it. Life goes on. Yeah, that and even, like... life goes on even after you've gone yeah. as well. You know, depending on which way you look at that last scene. Yeah. Uh, that last scene, by the way, I got 
the very bit that, that with me and Ricky, well, I, I think I got that two days before we filmed it. I think everyone had their ending written and I actually, I never normally do this. So I'm normally quite happy just to stand in the background and not say anything. But I said to Ricky, if I got like a, if I got a farewell moment, he said, yeah, I'm thinking about it. I'm really thinking about it. And then two days before, and I read it and went, this is amazing, this is perfect. Yeah. It's very subtle and it could be mean different things and depending where you are yourself, but I'm undecided. I just kind of, I just don't know. I, I just love it and it's simple and it is a sort of, I guess, about life goes on, contentment, acceptance. I guess acceptance and the realisation that we all do, yeah, leave this place and we have to make the most of it while we're here and it's important that, they, you know, it was in love and it was a love story and... That's a good yeah. point, actually. The, the ambiguity of it does let the viewer put what they want onto it a bit, which I think yeah. is mm. always a good thing. Be different in every yeah. different circumstance. If you've just lost someone, it'll mean something different. If you, you do, if you've just got a new job or you're just about to, what age? Everything. It's so beautifully open-ended. It's, it's, it seems to me to some sort of contentment, whether that's in him passing, uh, accepting what's mm. going on, or leaving, or leaving the grief behind, his life behind, mm. his, yeah, challenges behind. Something is very spiritual, actually, about it, I think. So it is heartbreaking as well, yeah. right? Absolutely. People will be yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely.